Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. If it sounds like I'm out of breath, that's because I am out of breath. I just hiked up on top of this mountain. But the purpose of this video, we've got some new property we're gonna be hunting. It's supposed to be deer and turkeys on this place. I just did a little bit of hiking around and I think I found a couple spots that we're gonna put this stuff out and try to pattern the times that the deer are coming through here. I don't think the deer are holding in here, but I think they're using this property kind of as a highway. So there's a little channel over here. We're gonna put a camera up and I brought some of this stuff. It's called Buck Bourbon 110 Proof Deer Attractant. I tried this once in the past and the entire bag was gone overnight, believe it or not. So. I've got a lot of confidence in that buck bourbon stuff. We're gonna put a pile of it a little bit over this way where I found some deer tracks. Looks like a little bit of a highway. Like I said, they're passing through here. And then there's an older mineral lick. We're gonna freshen it up. I'll show you that here in a second. But first, let, let me uh, show you the cameras I brought out here quick. I just picked these things up. This is one of the Spy Point Link Micro LTEs is what it's called. I bought this literally because it was the cheapest cell phone cameras that I could find. I ordered these online from Academy. I think it was $139 for two of them. They got that fancy stick on them. It sends them to your cell phone or your computer. Pretty cool. But on this property we're hunting, I want to pattern the time that the deers are passing through. So that's really the purpose of this video. I'm going to hang two of these out. I'm going to put some of this out. So really we're testing how quick does this stuff bring the deer. And how good did these little deals work? Uh, I tested them at the house and it sent the pictures to my phone, so should be working. I think there's plenty of cell signal in here, but I'm gonna hang one up here and then I'm gonna hike up a little bit further. Like I said, I'm gonna dump another one of these bags and I'm gonna freshen up a mineral spot. So plenty of yapping already. Let's get to setting this stuff up. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you the pictures that these take. I'm thinking we ought to get some pictures in a day or two. Shouldn't, shouldn't be a problem. Judging by the tracks I'm seeing, hiking around and putting this stuff up, I think it'll bring the deer in pretty quick. But let's set this stuff up and then I'll show you what I did here. And then hopefully we'll get a bunch of pictures to look at. Should be pretty cool. All right, so I got my camera set up on this tree here and I'm just gonna put that buck bourbon right around in there somewhere that way when they come through whenever it is day two three from now we should be able to get some good pictures and see the quantity and the quality and the time of day that these critters are coming through here so let me grab that bag here I think right about here before I forget I'm kind of a squirrel brained if you know me. So this 110 proof stuff, I'll show you what it looks like. It almost looks like some coffee grounds and they got a little bit of corn in there. I guess he might say, I don't know what that smells like really. <sighs> it smells good to me. But let me show you the back of the bag. Y'all can freeze that and read it if you want to know all about it and what's in it. But I'm going to put it out here about 10 feet in front of this camera right here. I'm just going to put this right in one big pile. There you go. We got the camera right here. And we got that book bourbon right here. And that's eight pounds in those sacks. Now, in my backpack, I've got another one of those bags and some minerals. Let me run up the mountain here and we're gonna put up another camera. And yeah, hopefully we get a whole bunch of pictures real quick. And one of the cool things about this buck bourbon stuff is how they pack it. I can get, I'll show you what I got in my bag. That first sack I carried up here just in my hand. Then in my pack here, 
I've got this pack called On the Rocks from Buck Bourbon. First time ever trying this. And then I have one of those 110 proof bags in it. Yeah, they even call it a pack-in pouch there. So Me, all by myself, put it in my old hunting backpack. I, this backpack is actually my muzzleloader backpack. I keep all my muzzleloader gear in this pack. But on this spot behind me, this is an old mineral spot. So we're going to freshen it up with this. I'll show you what's on here. Y'all can give them a Google or or freeze this and read up on it if you want to, but we're gonna freshen up this mineral spot with this. It's just like we did the first time, dump out a pile of that 110 proof, hang a camera, and wait for the deers. That's my favorite part. I don't know about y'all, but I could look at trail camera pictures all day and all night. I just love seeing the deers, but let's see what happens. Like I said, I'm gonna cut these two bags open, dump them up here, hang that other camera, and I'll show you real quick. I might as well show you this stuff up close too. Ooh, that stuff smells good too. But, <clears throat> this is that on the rock stuff. I'll show you up close and I'll show you out on the ground. Ooh, that stuff smells pretty strong, whatever it is. Critters ought to smell that. But I'm gonna sprinkle this a little lighter. Show you that stuff here. There's an up close of what that stuff looks like on the ground. That's that Buck Bourbon on the Rocks Deer Mineral. And then we're gonna put some of that 110 up here beside it. All right, now here's this spot. Got these side by side. The left is that on the rock stuff with that sea salt minerals. And on the right is this 110 proof see them there side by side. Now the camera is right here. I call these Jesus trees. Somebody in the comments let me know. But it's those trees that have those spikes all the way up them. Pretty wild there. But I'm going to turn this camera on. These are pretty simple. It's just a bloop. Turn that sucker on then you got 30 seconds to run and hide before it starts taking pictures of you. So I'm going to run. Now is the fun part where we get to sit back and look at my phone and wait for the notifications for all the deer to run by. But y'all let me know, have you ever tried these cameras? First time I'm ever trying these. Y'all let me know, have you ever used this buck bourbon stuff? But what's today's date? Today is February 19th, if y'all can see that. So we'll know today's February the 19th in the afternoon. We'll know when the first deer come by. Yep, I'm an Android user. If you're an Apple user, you need to repent and turn to Jesus. <laughs> but on a serious note, today's the 19th and about two o'clock in the afternoon. So we'll see on the pictures how long it takes us to get some pictures of some deer. Uh, but backstory on that joke. I worked in the cell phone business for over 10 years. I know everything there is to know about cell phones and I'm an Android fan, but hey, nobody cares about that. But let's see what pictures we get. I'm turning this second one on, on my way out of the woods here at the middle of the mountain. Wait, I'm excited, if you can't tell, to see what we get on these cameras. So I'm gonna zip it, turn this camera on, and then run, and then I'll check back with you guys. We'll see what we get on the cameras. Should be pretty cool, check it out. All right, guys, so I was planning on finishing this video up in my schedule about a week from now, but we're not even two days out from when I put the cameras up, and I already maxed out my free picture. So on the, there goes my computer, but on the Spy Points deal, you get 100 free pictures on your camera per month, but after that, you got to pay for the subscription. I think the, the cheapest one is like four bucks a month, but the, the Mac Daddy Unlimited is like 10 bucks a month. Right now, so I just put them up. I just had the 100 free pics selected, and I already maxed them out on one of the cameras, so I figured I might as well finish this video and show you guys what all we saw on the camera. I'm excited. Like I probably already told you in this video, I love checking the pics, and I'm super excited 
that seems that that stuff worked. We already maxed out our pictures. And the setting, too, on those cameras, I had the setting because I didn't want to max out the 100 pictures for free on day one. I had it set to only trigger once a minute. So if there were some deer standing there, it would take a picture and not trigger another picture until a minute later. So good news is that those deer and turkeys, and we even got a picture of a fox, two pictures of a fox, hung around for a while, which is kind of the whole idea we're trying to do out here. Pattern these deer and also test out that buck bourbon stuff. So check it out. Let me show you all the pictures. I'll probably actually do a, a screen record from my phone from the Spy Point app. So check this out. If you remember, we had two sites out there with my new two cameras. One, we did the Buck Bourbon 110 proof stuff and minerals. And the other, we just put out the 110 proof Buck Bourbon stuff. So check it out. Let's see what pictures we got. All right. So let me show you when I open up my Spy Point app, how they got running some promotion here. Then I go to my cameras. I've got three, the two at the top, the ones I titled Buck Bourbon. You can see the one in the middle here, it already has those 100 free pictures maxed out. And the top one, I've already got uh, 72 pictures, but this is what that looks like. You get 100 pictures for free, but that's not what we're here for. We're here to see the pictures. So let's go to this first one. And remember, these are brand new cameras. I just put them out. So I don't want to be too boring, but uh, let me show you all the pictures we got here. I think this is the one. Yeah, this is the one where we just put the buck bourbon out and no minerals. So check this out. And it looks like that camera must have moved or something that, that where I put that pile was just in front of where that doe's nose is right there. But you can see here, I put those cameras out in the evening of the 19th. This is the morning of the 21st here. That's this morning, two does there. And just in front of that tree is where the pile is. I think in one of the pictures, we actually can see the pile, but somewhere along the line, maybe a raccoon jumped on it or something. But real quick, I'll go through all these photos. So there's a doe in the back and then a doe right there on that buck bourbon. Same thing here. They must have been standing there a while. Same thing. One in the front by the pile, one in the back. One coming down that path there, one in the back. Oh, I love watching the deer. I think there's three does there. There's one eating off the pile and then one standing there right at 628 this morning. There's another one right there on that pile of buck bourbon. I think it's safe to say that the deer like this stuff right there on it. Here's at 3.42 in the morning. So 3.38 in the morning, there was another deer on that. Doe, part of a doe in the corner, doe. So I think it's safe to say uh, the deer like that buck bourbon. They must be able to smell it. Uh, like I said, I just kind of looked at the trails and the tracks I was seeing and thought this looked like a pretty good deer trail path, but you can see the deer are stopping at that buck bourbon. Uh, whether or not you're wanting this to be an attractant or something to put in front of a camera to kind of take a inventory of your deer, I'd say it, it'll work pretty good. You can see all these deer with their heads down on the pile there. <clears throat> this is yesterday morning, same thing. Deer right there. Young deer in the back there, that red one, and then an older one here up front by the camera. There's more deer with their heads down on that pile there. I think I even saw one here where a, a deer was licking its lips. There you go there with the, it's a young doe with their head down. There you go. There's the one I was talking about. Look at that doe. Literally licking her lips. <laughs> After she's been sitting there eating that buck bourbon stuff, but pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. So 619. It's also cool to see that uh, not only are the deer coming uh, to this spot and stopping on that buck bourbon stuff, but they're coming in the daytime too. So then there's me coming back down the mountain um, from checking on that other camera. 
All right, so that's all we got on that, that camera. Let's go over to the other camera here quick. So this is the one where we put the buck bourbon down there and the minerals right beside it. So there's the minerals and then there's the actual uh, 110 proof stuff there. So then uh, let me just go through them. Looks like there's deer off to the right there at 815 this morning. Deer here. I'm going to try not to park too much. This will be a three hour long video. Y'all can stop and freeze it if you want to on any of these. And to the right, I think that's a turkey. I was super excited uh, to see turkeys in this area. Like I said, I, I had hoped there were spots with turkeys on them. This is a new spot to me for hunting. Uh, but super excited. We've got deer and turkeys right there. There's a doe right there looking right at the camera. Super excited to see turkeys. Literally on the first two days that we put this stuff out here and hang the cameras. There's two does there back behind and a turkey. There's a bunch of turkeys. Looks like three big old birds. More turkeys. And there's a deer back there in the back. I think it's super cool when you see turkeys and deer. There's three does in here, three turkeys, bunch of deer in here, bunch of deer back there in the back, turkeys right there. Some of these I think have six or seven deer in them. And here they're getting closer to the pile there. One, two, three, four, five deer. Same thing there, six deer in that picture. There's one looking at the pile. <clears throat> There's one eating on the pile there. One, two, three, four, five deer in that picture. There's a doe there on that 110 proof stuff. Deer back there in the back. There's a, I don't know if she's licking on that uh, buck bourbon mineral we threw down there on that deer. That's kind of the thing too, is are they going to the minerals or are they going to the uh, 110 proof attractant stuff? There's one standing over it right there. That's another thing, when I put it on only one minute, it's kind of hard to see what they're doing the whole time. There's another deer on that 110 proof stuff. So we got three or four pictures where they're eating directly off that 110 proof stuff. There's a bunch of deer in there eating and licking on it. That's pretty cool to see. That hey, makes me happy. That's kind of the goal of this whole video here. There's two more eating on it with some deer in the back. Eating on it some more. Also, they're, so they're, I've got this set on a, one picture every minute. So that means uh, they're sitting here and parking for a while. So there's five minutes in a row where they're eating on that uh buck bourbon 110 proof stuff so that's pretty cool pretty pretty cool we're going backwards in time i think so here's seven in the morning yesterday that's a cool picture deer coming in deer in the back deer in the front deer all around hoping we get a buck picture but i think oh we got a bunch of does so there we go there's a decent sized doe there sitting on that buck bourbon and they were hanging out there a while that day too one going right at it there that's pretty cool there's one eating that 110 proof there in the nighttime four in the morning one running through the woods <clears throat> there's a deer on the paw there Four in the morning. There's another one. Another one. Go through some of these pretty fast here. Y'all can stop it and check them out if you want. There's the what I was talking about, a fox. I wasn't sure if it was a fox or a coyote, but on this picture right here, I'm pretty sure that's a red fox. It stinks it's at nighttime, but I'm pretty sure that's a red fox. Um being attracted to either the minerals or that uh, 110 proof stuff there. So that's pretty cool. 
some more a couple more night pictures what's back here in the back here and then this this was literally within three hours of me putting this stuff out and hanging the cameras we had turkeys in there you can see on the 19th there the the time stamp so that's pretty cool i'm super excited uh might hunt this area for this upcoming turkey season probably and then there's me setting up the camera and setting it off there so 344 i hung the camera and then within t an hour and a half we had turkeys right there how insane is that pretty pretty cool but there you have it guys quick video putting out some of that buck bourbon stuff and trying it out again and hanging out those two new cell cameras if you got any questions about any of that people are always asking me about what do you use and how do cameras work and all that stuff? If you got any questions, send me a message all over Facebook, Instagram, here in the comments, wherever you want to do. But I was happy to see I got a bag of it right there. That 110 proof, hey, so far, uh, I'm pretty excited about it. I think it's going to do awesome keeping those critters here all year round and helping me pattern them so we know when and where to go after them, chase them this upcoming season and film some more of those hunting videos. But appreciate y'all big time. Let me know what you think. Have you ever tried that buck bourbon stuff? Has it worked out well for you? Have you ever tried any of those cameras? But appreciate y'all big time. Let me know if you like these videos. I plan on doing one of these like at, at least every other week probably. I love checking the cameras. <laughs> but appreciate y'all. We'll see y'all in the next one. Shoot.